was. What are your initial thoughts on the match? Yeah, you know, uh, I thought our guys played with a ton of composure in the fifth set. And uh, this is a really good Long Beach team. You know, they've been good all year. I've uh, played a lot of guys tough, you know, a lot of teams tough, us included, you know. And so uh, it's a good team. And, and we played well, except for the third set. And uh, we played actually pretty good in the fourth. They just played even better. And then for us to come out and kind of demonstrate the poise and the confidence that we did in the fifth, boy, you know, I was really proud of the guys. And for sure we need that going, going on into the tournament. Um, talk about the, the atmosphere you know, in this field house, especially in that fifth set. The crowd really seems to get uh, you guys it's, going. It's magical, you know, and it's just, uh, I can't say enough about our fans. How many people came out to, uh, to a tournament match, you know, after school's out? It was just it was phenomenal. The support that we've gotten all year long from our fans has just been incredible. It just it was so loud, and uh, I just I love those moments where you just kind of can step back and listen. And uh, the crowd was great. The crowd was phenomenal. And, I, and it really helped us, I think, uh, kind of stay in the match and keep going. Now, I know it's not official yet, but Stanford was up 2-0 last we checked. What would it feel like to go up against them now that you've got Taylor back you know, this time around? You know, I thought we played them really tough uh, when they were here without Taylor. And... You know, all the games were pretty close, and at the end of both of those nights, I didn't feel like, you know, that we lost badly and played poorly. I thought we played pretty well, and uh, I like the way we match up against them. They were obviously a very, very accomplished team with a lot of senior leadership and uh, a lot of good players, and so we'll have to play great to uh, to beat them, but uh, look forward to it. Coach, is, is that something that you try to understand, but yet how you can play so well in, in one game and turn right around and... And, and not, like you say, and then all of a sudden do it again in the fifth. Yeah, you know, I, the, the third, I thought we played poorly and they played well. Uh -huh. uh, and so, you know, it's kind of interesting. And these games happen so fast at 25, you know, and they kind of get on a roll and then we kind of get in a little bit of an ebb and now what do we do kind of thing. And so we talk to our guys all the time about, hey, we just got to manage those emotions mm -hmm. and there are going to be times when it's difficult. And so is that what it is, an emotional deal with thing? that. You know, it's easy to get kind of frustrated and then suddenly two or three points roll off and in a set to 25, you know, two or three points are huge. And so to try and come back and climb and climb and climb through that uh, makes it difficult. And so we talk to our guys, hey, uh, we, hopefully we're learning along the way. Uh, through this tournament and the things we need to learn aren't necessarily mechanics and systems and volleyball specific stuff so much as just hey let's manage the mental part of the game and manage our emotions and uh, be just this, t this great teammate to each other the entire time and when somebody looks at me in the middle of that kind of panic situation I want them to know that you know hey I'm composed I'm confident I trust you and so those are all the kinds of things we're trying to learn and get better at as time goes on. You know, I thought they started playing better, uh, and we got a little kind of out of rhythm, and, and that was that, and, you know, and then the fourth, we played pretty well, actually sided out at a nice level, but they just were phenomenally good. I think they carried the momentum they had going forward, and a couple of their guys got pretty hot, you know, and uh, I think they had some good luck with the sub they made at their opposite. Uh, number two came in, Bothman, and, uh, and he played really well for them. And I uh, kind of gave him a spark, and we didn't really have an answer. And you know, and then it just took us a little while to kind of settle down. I thought we settled early in the fourth, and then they kind of made some mini runs. But we played well, but they just played really good. And then uh, I think you know we talk about this to the guys all the time. They're feeling pressure too when we hit head to the fifth, and so it's just about who can keep their wits about them. And, uh, and continue to just play solid, fundamentally sound volleyball through those. And not try and do too much, and not try and let the moment, you know, overcome it. What changed for you guys? I mean, that fifth set, you guys come out eight long to thirteen. What were you guys doing? Yeah, nothing. You know, just uh, it's just all about this emotional swing. The boys had a good talk, I think, in between the fifth, and they realized that you know we did some things that we don't want to do in the fourth in terms of how we act on the court, you know, letting our frustration show a little bit. And so we just talked about it during the timeout. Hey, settle down, let's be great. And then we had a few things go our way. And when that happens for us, we, we remember, oh, yeah, we're a good team. Let's go. And uh, so you know, we just start doing things a little bit better when we get a couple points rolling. And then we're like, okay, here we go. What does that say about your four seniors coming out like that after being down for two sets? And you 
able to come out like that? That, you know, uh, at this time last year, we were looking at a loss, you know, and, uh, and we didn't have the composure that we would have liked. And the team got hot and uh, stayed hot against us, and uh, we were out of the tournament. So I think a year of, this has been a weird season for these guys, you know, with a lot of injuries, a lot of ups and downs, and just a, a year better at managing those kinds of things. And so I thought it was great. Um, the seniors were wonderful. They, they really led the team. And, uh, I thought Joe was phenomenal. Uh, he located the ball really well. Good pace the entire night, and that was something that he hasn't been, you know, hasn't been a characteristic of him necessarily. You know, all season long, he's been getting better and better at that. And when this moment required it, I thought he was really good. This team play like a national championship team. You know, uh, we talk to our guys all the time about lots of teams that win the national championship don't play perfect volleyball the entire way through. What they do is they manage some of these kind of low points and they manage the mistakes and they manage the failures that happen and uh, and so that's all we needed to do tonight was to kind of manage those failures and come back out and be good. So yeah, I think we did. You know, and uh, I like, we talked about it, I like our matchup going into Stanford and uh, feel like, you know, we're, uh, we for sure have the potential, we for sure have the players uh, to win at all. Yeah. Okay.